the first step. Add the clay. Add the clay to the bucket. If you want, you can kind of break it into smaller pieces while you're adding it in there to make it easier. Just add it to the bucket. I would go ahead and start adding some water to this too. Alright, this should be enough clay for right now. I don't want to put too much in. And the more water you have in here while you're processing the clay, the easier it'll be. Eventually this water will get so thick and soupy. So Having it, having a little bit more water in there will make it thinner. A little bit easier for it to go through the sift and get all the stuff out. And all I'm doing right now is just going in and breaking up more pieces. All right, so I'm about as good as I'm gonna get with this. So now all you need to do, grab your sieve, make sure it places nicely. It places nicely, places nicely. It places nicely on your bucket, and then just pour this mixture into it. I just want to show y'all what it's catching. See, this is all just raw organic material. Alright, what's up guys? So, what I've did here is after I filtered everything out, um, I just let it sit. So I let it sit for maybe two or three days and 
you can see that there's water sitting on top of this. So, well, you might not be able to see it, but there's like a layer of water before the clay. So I'm gonna try and pour a lot of that water out and then I'll pour this in here with a pillowcase and then I'll hang it up on a tree. You can kind of see it, that layer. All I'm trying to do is just pour it out while keeping a lot of that clay out, but I honestly feel like Like it needs to sit longer. Uh, but yeah, I just I don't have the time. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna try and put it into one of these. I'm gonna try and pour it into uh, one of these pillowcases. Got it. Might as well pour, uh, might as well take this and take this. I'll do one more pour into here. So I'm gonna do now, tie it, hang it up on a tree. All right guys, so after I made that first watery batch, I went back and made another batch, but this time I made it uh, thicker. And I would definitely say make it thicker because it'll have a quicker dry time and you won't have to really wait for that top layer of water. Um, you can just go ahead and throw it in the bag. But this is what it looks like, nice and thick. To open up, but this is pretty much all a good consistency to go ahead and put in a plastic bag. I can tell because when I push down on it like that, it holds form. So, I'm gonna try and get this open. Jesus. Wet it, wet the tops of these first, and then see if we can open it up and check it out. No, three, four days. Look at that. Oh. Wow, guys. Did you just look at that? Perfect. There's even just look at it huh did y'all just look at that oh it's kind of it's a little bit soupy still the other one wasn't soupy like that huh yeah the other one wasn't soupy but that'll be good to go ahead and peel out put into a plastic bag just let it kind of choast up in there what we're gonna do is we're just gonna 
take these out of all the edges. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really soupy right there. All right, so yeah, I want to show you guys that, and uh, what I'm gonna do now is take it out. I might let this one sit a little bit longer, but I'm gonna take that one out definitely, and uh, just put it in a plastic bag and have it ready to go. I might use this as some slip. I could use that as some slip, actually. So I might put want to put that in a container some nice slip you can use that for pottery paint just natural paint in general so uh, yeah that's it